Builders always have work to do. The hardest thing is coming up, deciding on the design of the new house. Betty, we already made a hanging house, and we already built a secret room under the table. We even have one in the backyard. That's right, Pinky. We've done it all before. We're having a creative crisis. Are we really done with building? What if… No! We can't build a house out of chairs. But we could use a table. Betty, I have a plan. We're gonna turn this table into a little house. Pinky, you're a genius! But we'll have two houses! We don't have much time. Let's start building right now! Go for it, Pinky. Uh -huh. You can do it! It's very easy to build the walls. You need cardboard and a box cutter. Just cut it out and put it in place. How do you make high ceilings? Betty has some beams. You can use them to lengthen the legs of the table. Oh. Right, we need screws. Betty, use zip ties. Right, wow. that's way easier. That's safe and not a single oh. bolt. The frame is almost ready. Uh -huh. All that's left is to secure the overhead beams. This is where a screwdriver will come in handy. The houses have to be sturdy, and these cardboard pieces turn the tables into houses. Not a bad start. The main thing is to not forget about the ceiling. There's enough cardboard for all the ideas. And Betty is already starting to decorate the house. This piece needs to be brightened up. That's exactly what we need. Cut it out using a template and glue it to the base. Right there. Let's put fluffy fabric in the center. Guess what it is? Dog ears, of course. They will make the roof look adorable. Betty, you're a real fairy. I can do that too, except mine will be pink. We cover the house with fabric and we cut off uh -huh. all the excess. And neatly tuck in the edges. Perfect! And add soft fabric. It'll make it a lot cozier. Oh, what about the decorations? No problem. This one goes this way. And this one goes over there. Spread the fabric on the walls. And staple it. That's better. The pink capsule will also have ears. One, two, and done. This will make a very cute little cat. Betty's work is in full swing, too. Her capsule will be yellow. All she has to do is wrap the house in wrapping paper. It's perfect, bright and cheerful. But you can never have too much yellow. Let the inside of the house be sunny, too. And make sure to tape up all the sides. This capsule is actually a cozy puppy house! Pinky has everything ready, too. Those ears are adorable. Yep, somebody's stealing ideas. Something needs to be done about that. Try to recreate it, Pinky. You don't have paws like that. Woof, woof! Who said paws? Meow! Do you mean these? The capsules are ready for the housewarming. Experienced builders can do anything. But the place is still too empty. Let's build a table first. Yes. Out of cardboard, of course. We connect two sheets and get comfortable furniture. Saving space is the first rule of capsule houses. Let's decorate the table with pink. Everything has wow. to match. Oh, hey! Wonderful! Uh huh. What about the lights? Coming up next. Hmm? Yeah. Now oh. there's a place to eat. Hmm. <sighs> wow. And there was enough LED ribbon to even decorate the wall. Betty, look what I've got here. Hey. Hmm? Well, well. Pinky is snacking again. 
the yellow capsule is missing a table. So we have to make one. Out of darts! The table is already in place. What do we make the legs out of? We'll take these cardboard tubes. Just connect the pieces and we have a real table. But we're not done. Soon the furniture will look so much better. Just remove the numbers and paint the empty areas white. It's way cuter, right? Now we can put the numbers back. The table is unrecognizable already. Oh yeah, we have to tape up the sides as well. And let's make the table green. That's a great combination with yellow. Betty's favorite alarm clock will go on this table. Pinky has a new idea. The interior will become way cuter soon. <laughs> That's great! This yarn will do the trick. We also need colorful buttons. We stick them right into the sides. Opposite each other. Ready to keep going? Here comes the fun part! We hook the string to the button and pull it onto the button on the opposite edge. And now we pull the string back. The more threads there are, the better. And add a little purple. Oh, it's not easy. Oops, Pinky got tangled up. Let go of me! Come on, I want to be free! But Pinky still got out of that web. The wall is unrecognizable. But now she's nowhere near done. You can hang the best photos from your collection on the strings. Betty will definitely appreciate this. Yeah. Uh -huh. We should send her a selfie. Hmm? Do you like it, Betty? Try to copy it. And the message is already delivered. Not bad, Pinky. Not bad. But you don't have a pillow. Get ready! Now you'll see what I can do. We need fabric of two colors. White and green are an excellent choice. Cut shapes out of the fabric. Long ribbons, squares, and triangles. Now we can create. Glue the two sides of a triangle. And we'll leave the third open. This way you can stuff the pillow. Use polyester stuffing. Glue the loose edge and we can start decorating. Make it green. Decorate the cushions with ribbons. And why don't we add a bright print to them? How stylish. Hey, baby, do you like it? Those pillows are yours now. Make yourself comfortable. Look, I have the same cushion couch. So comfy. Wow, Betty, twin pillows. That's a cool idea. Oh, uh, gotta run. See you soon. There has to be a pillow in the pink castle, too. And quickly. Pinky will break all sewing records. Phew, I made it. And that's unnecessary. We remove it. The pillow fish needs fins. Let's make them shiny. We cut out and sew to the base. Uh -huh. Wow, how pretty! And the final touch. We make the pillow super soft. Where's the stuffing? The fish are ready to swim. But one pillow was too boring. There will be a whole flock of squishy fish in the pink house. Betty, get over here right now. You're welcome to visit. Look, I've got a photo area over oh. here. This is where I have lunch. I made these fish myself. Pinky, wow. your capsule is an absolute oh. dream. It seems that the pink house wins this design competition. But Betty still has some ideas. Uh -huh. The main wall is missing a rope. That's great. Let's keep oh. working. And now we cut the decor out of cardboard. <laughs> Let's make it a bone. Puppies hey. love them so much. And cover the workpiece with glitter. More bones. Wow. Now we can decorate the wall. Hang the bones on the rope. That's a whole other thing. No more boring walls. 
Pinky is unstoppable now. She mm. decided to make a mini chandelier. We put the lights inside the balloon and we close the construction. Simple, but with style. Pure wow. minimalism. We'll fix the chandeliers to the ceiling. It's mm. so pretty. Now Pinky has two moonlight <laughs> nightlights. Construction is so tiring. Pinky, I'm going to bed. Mm -hmm. See you in the morning. And the yellow capsule closes its colorful doors. Not a bad idea. Mm. It's been a very eventful day. The pink house is also closing until morning. Uh huh. Sweet dreams, Betty. Good morning, Pinky. How did hey. you sleep? Fine, Betty. What are we gonna do today? Mm. Capsules are too Whoa. easy. We need a new construction Whoa. idea. Right, and the cat dog project is going straight into our collection. We did a great job on it, didn't we? <laughs> oh yeah, great job. So, what house should we build next time? <laughs>